What's up everybody? I've got some Lego illusions today that I'm really excited to show you. I've been bit Where you guys are rolling. Sorry. Lego illusions are fantastic, so I've got a bunch of guys, we're rolling. Jaden, seriously? That's the studio for you. Me and Clark here at the studio took about a day to make these Lego illusions for you, and we're very excited to show you. So we've got them set up right around the corner. I want to show you this first one, which is a chair illusion. So this first one is fun. Uh, this is a classic illusion, which you may have seen before, but not in Lego format. There's our little mini fig just chilling, sitting on a chair, you know, normal day, except, oh wait, he's really big, and this chair up here is really tiny and actually distorted. These are some of my favorite illusions because they're about lining it up just right, tricking your eye into seeing something that you're used to seeing, but in this case, we've played a trick with you when we reveal, and I, I just love that, it's so fun. So this is the Lego hero, and this is his little seat that we had it him sitting on here, so he's also a flashlight. If there's ever an emergency at the studio, I'm running to grab this first. Let's move on to the next illusion. I saw this Lego illusion actually built online and I, I had to recreate it to see if it's actually real. And I love it because it's another one of those, place it at the right angles and this eye trick happens to you. So they're placed at 45 degree angles each and this is the real setup that you've got. It's actually placed on the floor just barely touching the corners there, and when you line it up just right, you get this cool, is it up or down illusion. Don't get me wrong, I love Legos, but they're way too overpriced, so luckily, I've got a little magic up my sleeve. No, just kidding, I actually have to buy them too. Also, did you know Legos are about 10 cents a piece on average? So, even the little baby ones. This is another take on a classic illusion that's well known and we Legofied it here. So it starts with no, and then if you turn it around this way, it turns into yes, and you tell me if you think these really line up. I feel like the no is a little wonky, but that's kind of the, the best I could do. I like to do just okay work around here. I don't know, you tell me down below in the comments if you think that works. For this next illusion, we actually need to go outside for some better light. All right, let's see if we can figure out the angle on this one. So this is an impossible triangle that you have to line up just perfectly to get it right. You have to have good lighting for it, and it, it works quite well. I think it's, it does better in a photo, probably. So let me know down in the comments which Lego illusion you enjoyed the most that we created, and don't forget to subscribe. And I've got a special Lego illusion for that.